Hey, welcome to uh, Minnesota Comics Authority. Um, this is my review of Cyberfrog Wrecked Planet Preview Ashcan, which, um, if you're a backer of this, you should know it was. Um, <laughs> well, this isn't an Ashcan. You can see it's a full size comic. Um, at a certain point, he decided to go um, just like full size with it, do a nice foil thing. Um, it is the first eight pages of the comic. Um, if you haven't gotten your hands on one, well, if you have your hands on one, you're probably not watching this. Um, but this cover is thick. It's about like twice the thickness of a normal comic cover. The pages in this are super thick. Um, it's almost, it's like nearly the thickness of like when Marvel was like really cutting back and they would they tried doing pages with like interior stuff or like stuff that was just slightly thicker than interior pages. These, um, everything about this feels substantial. Anyway, um, so it's the first eight pages and a lot of these are pictures or illustrations that uh, EVS has shown throughout the campaign. If you watch his um, YouTube channel, you've seen a lot of this. Um, there's a promo video that uses these images, um, and they're good. They're they're really good. Um, you know, this for some reason this layout on the page bugs me. That's personal preference, right? I mean, it's still a great uh, great art, and it's set in the scene. I think you kind of have to, right? You're doing the you're giving credit to all of the artists involved. Kyle's by Color Ritter, uh, of course. Um, Letters by Eric Weathers, uh, you know, CG's letterer. Uh, designs by Steve Dye. No idea who that is. Anyway, um, there's two things that I really enjoy about this. One is we get to see the reunion. And uh, I was on the fence about reading this. I, I kind of wanted to wait until Wrecked Planet actually comes out. But then I caved. <laughs> um, I couldn't resist because, uh, you know, Blood Honey sets up a pretty awesome world and I want to see what happens next. I mean, in, in a lot of ways he came out so hard and just the world was destroyed so quickly that I, I really want to know what happens next. I want to, yes, I want to know the complete story and I know it's like a three part arc. So it's going to be, um, blood, honey, wrecked planet, and then red, supremacy or something like that but anyway um this reunion between um between cyber frog and uh i forget what this chick's name is now i can't believe it um it's emotional uh i i was moved by it right so cyber frog is um he's like doing this narration over it we, we see he's at the end of wrecked or blood honey he wakes up and so now we're seeing him discovering this world for the very first time. Um, this, oh, the world overwhelmed fully by the Vespas. Um, and he meets Heather Swain's daughter in the woods and she recognizes him. She recognizes him from where? From that trashy tattoo her mom got like 25 years ago or whatever. And then he sees her and she gets all teary. And it is, it's a moving thing. Like this is... This is like, this is a hug. <laughs> like this is, that's how you embrace somebody that you have not seen in two decades that you saw, you thought was dead. There's like, you know, and of course the kid's going to be like, what the, what? Like, you know, God, you know how kids are. They don't give a shit. Um, anyway, immediately we get like some of this awesome, gruesome horror stuff uh, that we got a taste of in Blood Honey with this dude just swelling up. Um, I do like how, uh, you know, cyber frog is just totally, um, he just doesn't care. <laughs> He's like, Oh yeah, that was me. Anyway, see ya. He hops out and we get this. He's about to drop kick the Vespas in the face and it's beautiful. And I mean, like, it's just all of these beautiful details, the reflections of the Vespas in his cybernetics, from Chel Sin, it's just, it's amazing. It's the type of thing, I'm a non-artist, and it's the type of thing that I look at and I'm like, how do you do that? 
how does your brain work? How can you visualize that? Um, and and I yeah, it was just a fantastic reintroduction to this world, and I cannot wait to read it. This though, I especially love is it's the uh, black lines, the the inks of those same pages. And the reason I really love this is that um, you get to see how important a colorist is. Uh, you know, it's like I look at this, right? And it's just sort of like cyber frog is just um, lost in those like that vertical line. Here we have this, which is just like a total mess. Like the colorist, I don't know that I, I always appreciate the difference that a great colorist will bring to a book. Like, I don't know, can I go back to that page? Can I find that page? Yeah, so it's like, it is, I mean, he's done a, a wonderful job. I think he's simplified parts of it, it looks like. He's removed some of those trees. Um, or maybe he has like he's done a great job though and it like it just pops out and um it really is uh kyle ritter is a master at his craft um and then we also we have this really really cool um cover gallery and we have rob willis and kyle ritter that rob willis illustration is awesome kane and white who kane and white is just I love that dude's art. Elliot Fernandez. I don't really know that I know who that is. Um, oh, this is the EVS. This, was this a, a cover for something? I don't know. And of course, the Jay Lee cover. Um, the cover that, you know, just ruined Tom King's day. Uh, so anyway, this is, this is fantastic. These are up and available on eBay right now. So I would suggest if you didn't grab one of these, um, grab one especially if you really like the story and you want to get a little taste of it um, before Wrecked Planet comes out or a little taste of it before, um, you know, you can read the Cyber Frog Warts and All stories. But with that, um, thanks for watching. Um, if, I don't know, if people care, I might do uh, same reviews about the other two books that this came with, the Cyber Frog um, Unfrog Gettable Tales 1 and 2. Um, otherwise, probably the next one that I'll be doing is No, uh, The Ballad of No. Anyway, thanks for watching.